What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a crash moon. Here is what a crash moon is. Here's a clip. So a crash moon is not a shuriken cutter variation, it's a moon kick variation and it's one of my favorite tricks. It's a very rare trick and so today I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. So some prereqs that you would need is a moon kick, a gainer arabian or gainer half and yep. So the first thing that I would recommend you to do is just practice your moon kick from whatever setup that you want to. So I'm gonna be doing it from Scoot. You can do it from TDR, J-Step, anything that you want, so. So next, what you wanna do is practice your gainer Arabian or gainer half, uh, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, that was a cork. <laughs> So what the gainer Arabian or gainer half helps you with is just it helps you get that extra rotation that you need because the moon kick is only a quarter turn because when you finish a moon kick you're only right here and so the gainer Arabian really helps you get to this like turbo position. Alright guys moving on so next thing which you want to do is practice combining your moon kick and your gainer Arabian into one trick and so instead of like tucking on your gainer Arabian you're going to treat it like a moon kick so treat it like a moon kick. But instead of kicking and landing in this position, you're gonna try to hold it, keep your leg as close to you as you can, and try to hold it all the way until you turbo. So essentially, moon kick tur uh, turbo. So I'll demonstrate. And so you wanna land with both feet on the floor. If you can't go to turbo yet, I would recommend you keep practicing your moon kick because if it's hard for you to get to the turbo position it's going to be really hard for you to try to get that second kick out so joe that's really good for practicing getting the second kick out is your cheat double 720 so you can just practice doing this so by doing that you just get used to getting the second kick out second crescent kick out Another progression uh, trick that you can practice is doing an aerial crash moon. So what you would need to do is have an aerial and then be able to do aerial but land in semi. And then you would just practice trying to get that last kick out from the aerial semi. And so I'll demonstrate all three. Then you have aerial semi, which what aerial semi essentially is, is you do an aerial, but instead of landing with your feet facing sideways or that way, you wanna make sure your feet that lands, you wanna face the direction that you're going. And so. Aerial semi. Then you can do aerial crash moves. So after you have done all the progression and all the drills, you can implement them all together and put them into the moon kick. And so something that I have like discovered while doing this trick is I try to treat the moon kick, um, instead of moon kick all the way around, up and around like a rainbow, I'm gonna do up and around, but I'm gonna try to cut it to the semi. Almost as, almost as if I was gonna front swing it. So it's gonna come up, instead of coming all the way around, it's gonna come up and then straight down. That way I'm gonna have enough like air time to actually get the kick out. And so I'll demonstrate. Something that you can do to help is sometimes you can just grab your leg to um, help it from not releasing too early. Cause in this trick, if you release too early then your kick is gonna get cut off short. So you kinda wanna hold it as long as you can until you are almost to the floor then you your hips, your hips are very important. Your hips are gonna help you 
twist and get this second crescent kick out, if that makes sense. Also, when you're doing this trick, it's okay to use your hand while you're progressing. And so if you're getting to, you're getting the first kick, and you get to the second kick, it's okay to use your hands to help guide you. Finally, after you have been practicing all of what I've told you, then you can hopefully do a crash move. <laughs> but yeah, hips. Hips really help you twist and get the second kick out. Hips are very, 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 very important. And also, hold it as long as you can. You think you're holding it longer, but you're really not. You wanna hold it as long as you can. Then once you get to this position, then you twist your hips. And then that second kick will whack out. And remember, this trick is a moon kick into a hyper hook, not a shuriken cork into a hyper hook. Totally different. And so I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. It's my first tutorial, so don't bash me. And yeah, so I hope you guys learned something maybe and let me know in the comments below what other tutorial you guys would like to do for me